All right, y'all, so today I wanted to talk about some of the books that I found that are coming out in 2021 that I am ridiculously excited about. Some of them are sequels to books that I already love. Some of them are new debuts. Some of them are from authors that like I already like, but it's their new books. So there's like a good mix up in here. So I just want to share them with you. Obviously, you don't know, maybe some of these dates are gonna change because, you know, 2021, you never know what's gonna happen after the year that 2020 was, but hopefully these all kind of stay where they are because I'm really hyped for them. And some of these are books that I've heard other people talking about, and some of them are books that I haven't heard anybody hype up. So I'm quite excited for them. The first book I want to talk about that I'm so excited for is titled Nowhere, and it doesn't have a cover right now. There's no cover to show you, but this is book three in the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. I am so excited. I loved Skyward. I loved Sarsight. So now I just need this third book that is allegedly coming out in 2021. It said, I think, spring of 2021. So we'll see. We all know Sanderson is a beast when it comes to writing. So I will be checking his website regularly to see if there are updates for this book. The next one is a novella and it will be coming out in January and that is Remote Control by Nnedi Okorafor. Nnedi Okorafor is the author of the Benti series and y'all know I really liked that trilogy of novellas. This is another one of her Afrofuturism novellas which I love. This one is said to be the adopted daughter of death and that is who we are following. It sounds fantastic. Like that just sounds like such a cool premise, right? Like the adopted daughter of death. And I'm pretty sure she has like death touch, like she can't touch you. Ugh. So good. I'm so excited for this one. And I love Nnedi Okorafor's writing. So I'm just, I know I'm going to pick this up as soon as it comes out. The next one is coming out in February. And this one is pretty hyped already. It has been pushed back because it was supposed to have come out this year. But that is The Gilded Ones. And this is a YA book that is about this girl who goes through her ceremony when she comes of age, basically to check her blood. They are either going to see if she bleeds red, which means she's a normal person and can join her society, or if she bleeds gold, which I'm pretty sure means she's a demon. And surprise, surprise, she bleeds gold. And she is kind of left with two choices. She either is killed in her village or she goes off with this mysterious person that comes to get her to learn about why she bleeds gold, why she is how she is, how to harness her powers, and just kind of learning about herself and protecting her village and, you know, the world as a whole and how to fight and protect your people. And does that not sound really cool? And I mean, the cover is stunning. So there's that. Like, no one can say that cover is not beautiful. So I'm excited for that one. The next one is coming out in April of 2021, and that is Witches Steeped in Gold. This is a book where we get two different witches. One is a princess and one is a prisoner, and they are kind of forced to work together to defeat a common enemy. And that is a trope that I love. I love when people are like forced to work together for a common goal even when they don't like each other or they would be enemies themselves. Like it's just something I enjoy so much. So I'm really excited for this one to come out in April. The next one is Bridge of Souls by V.E. Schwab. That comes out in March and it is the third book in the Cassidy Blake series which is a middle grade series where our main character, Cassidy Blake, had a near-death experience and she can now see ghosts. Her best friend is a ghost, but her parents are paranormal investigators and they are traveling around the world filming this 
TV show in the most haunted places in the world. And this is the third book and it is so cute. I love this series. I just recently read the first two and I just can't wait for this one to come out. The next book I'm excited about, I don't think I've heard anyone really talk about, and that is She Who Became the Sun. And this is supposed to come out in July and it is pitched as a Mulan retelling meets Song of Achilles. Y'all know Mulan is like my favorite. It is my favorite Disney movie and I'm just, anything that you tell me is a Mulan retelling, I am probably going to purchase, I'm probably going to eat it up and I'm just, I just want it in my life, right? This is set in alternate history China, which if you have been watching me for a while, you know that I have been really loving like Asian inspired fantasies lately, the Poppy War, sort of Kaigen, like anything that's like alternate history, Asian inspired, like I've been absolutely loving. So that just really, really calls to me and I'm super excited to pick this one. The next one is one I'm pretty excited about as well. Obviously I'm excited about all of these, like Let's be real, I wouldn't be making a video about them if I wasn't excited about them. But this one, um, I don't know. It seems a little close to home once I tell you what it is. This is called The End of Men. And it is set in the near future in 2025 when a virus comes through and only affects men and wipes out the male population. So we are left with a bunch of women only trying to kind of find their way in this new manless world. And this book should be coming out in April. And again, yeah, it seems a little close to home with the whole virus and like there's only like, you know, four or five years in the future. So yeah, that just makes it a little, you know, a little, a little creepy, but... I'm still excited about it. And I think it's kind of cool because usually like when books like this, it's viruses that only affect women and women are the ones that are being killed off. So I kind of like that it seems like a flip on that trope, you know? All right, the next one is actually a standalone, which is a standalone fantasy, which if you know, that's not super common. It seems like all fantasy books are series nowadays. And this is supposed to be a standalone fantasy coming out in March and it is called The Bone Maker. And this book is set where this group of like five heroes goes to kind of like their final battle to save the world. And they're up against this guy who uses bone magic to create this inhuman army out of like dead animals and things kind of go awry. They win, but it's a pretty big cost and at least one of their members dies. And the book itself starts back up, I think 20 years after 15, 25 years after this happened. So we are following older protagonists, which you know I love. And it's kind of the aftermath and the ramifications and we get to explore more of the bone magic and um, should the dead stay dead. And basically this group is getting another like second chance to take on the big bad. And it kind of gives me those like Kings of the Wilds vibe where we are getting the band back together and I am totally here for that. The next one is a debut and it is supposed to come out in January as well and it is called Hall of Smoke and this follows a female warrior who is bound to the goddess of war and she was basically kidnapped um, very young, raised to be this priestess warrior but she is cast out by her goddess when she refuses to murder a traveler and after that she is you know she's in banishment she's in mourning and her village is slaughtered it is raided and slaughtered all the priestesses for this goddess are murdered and she is kind of trying to avenge them, figure out what is going on, and I am totally here for this. It just sounds really, really cool. She is not only trying to like avenge these murders 
and this village being wiped out, but she's also struggling with the fact that she's been cast out by her goddess and she kind of gets caught up in this um, war between the ancient gods and like questioning her faith and I'm just so here for it. It sounds super, super cool. The next one comes out in June and that is the Jasmine Throne. This is a Indian inspired fantasy where we are following two characters. One is a captive princess and one is a maid with forbidden magic and they basically have to team up to overthrow the king of this kingdom and again you know that's one of my favorite tropes when two unlikely allies have to team up because why not they just do and there's also forbidden magic and it's indian inspired like i'm here for it the cover looks really cool and it just sounds like a really cool queer fantasy indian inspired book that i am here for the next one is a sequel to a book that i absolutely loved this year it will be coming out in june and that is when night breaks which is the sequel to where dreams descend this was one of my favorite ya fantasy books of the year it is very greatest showman vibes with real magic and dueling magicians and there's a circus and just go pick it up it is so good and this will be the sequel and i'm really excited to read it because the first one kind of ended on a cliffhanger another sequel that is coming out this year in march is flamefall which is the sequel to fireborn and i just finished this first book and absolutely loved it we are following two dragon riders one is the like secret heir to a kingdom and the other is a poor orphan who has worked her way up. Our heir basically had watched his entire family be slaughtered in this revolution and he was spared and he becomes friends with this other orphan girl when they're very very little and they come up together and they become dragon riders together and it's just so full of political intrigue and like dragons and friendship and a slight romance that I am just so excited to see what happens next in this world so I cannot wait for this one to come out. The next book I'm super excited about again is a, a sequel and this is actually the third book in a series and it is Wings of Shadow which is the third book in the Crown of Feathers series. I still haven't read the second one but I do plan on reading it before this one comes out in July. This is about these two sisters who are in a magi. Basically they can speak to animals but they are also descendant of these phoenix riders and the one sister really wants to be a phoenix rider and she ends up getting a phoenix egg and then you know things happen she ends up running off to join this group of phoenix riders but she has to pretend to be a boy in order to do so and it's just so well done it really straddles the line between ya and adult fantasy i feel like and it's one that I think would be very appealing to people who read either genre or either age range, I should say. It's definitely a really cool story and I'm excited to read the second one and then pick up the third one when it comes out. The next one I'm super excited about is called Downworld. This is a like sci-fi thriller that gives me some really good vibes. Kind of like space between worlds where there's this interdimensional kind of multiverse where we make one decision here and like it changes all this but if you go and make these decisions then this is what changes and this is actually set in a high school where there are three doors that our protagonist finds and these three mysterious doors hold the key to the mystery of her brother's murder but she has to kind of explore this figure out what happened that night and like the little things that are changing because of going through these doors 
and I am just like so here for this. This is supposed to come out in March and I will definitely be looking out for it when it does. The next one is coming out in July and it's another sequel and it is The Devil and the Device which is the sequel to Goddess and the Machine which is another YA fantasy debut that I read this year. I actually got it in an Owl Crate box. I did a whole video of reading Owl Crate books that you can watch if you want to see like a full review kind of of that book but it's a really cool like sci-fi YA like mystery book and I'm really excited to see what happens next because the end of that first book was like pretty good. The end of the book made it for me so I'm excited to see what happens next. The next one I'm really excited about comes out in March as well and it is called The Unbroken. This is a debut fantasy series that's very politically heavy from what I can tell. We follow Taurine who is a soldier who was kidnapped as a child, forced to be a soldier and fight for this empire. She ends up being sent to her old home to stop a rebellion and obviously things probably don't go the way that they are expected to. We also follow Luca who is the niece of the Emperor and she is basically looking for someone to help her overthrow her uncle and bring peace to the region. The next one that I'm excited about comes out in September and that is All of Us Villains. This one is a book where in a remote city there are seven families and once every generation these seven families have to choose a like champion to compete this is a competition to the death and whoever wins whoever's champion wins that family will control everything they will control the land they will control all the magic in this city so that right there sounds very much like an unkindness of magicians with the competition and controlling everything but kind of the twist that I thought was really cool when reading about this book was that this is very secretive but somehow word gets out about this competition and it spreads like wildfire and becomes a spectator sport that everyone is interested in that right there is kind of what hooked me and I'm like okay I need to know what this is now. The next one comes out in March of 2021 and it is a trial of sorcerers. This is set in the same world as Air Awakens by Elise Kova. We are following a brand new protagonist who is a water runner and she is kind of an outcast and she's basically trying to compete as one of five champions in this magical competition and if you know obviously I love magical competitions so I'm super excited I also really love Elise Kova's writing I really love this world that she has built so I will definitely be picking this up again it's a self-published book too so definitely support your self-published authors. The next one comes out in September and that is The Bone Shard Emperor which is the sequel to The Bone Shard Daughter which is a debut fantasy series that I absolutely loved this year. We follow a couple different protagonists in the very first book. The, fir the main one being Lynn who is the daughter to the Emperor and she kind of has lost her memory and she's trying to figure out why and we also follow like her brother and we follow kind of an unwilling hero and then we follow the daughter of a governor and her girlfriend and a rebellion and it's there's a bunch of different aspects to this book a bunch of different threads that at the very end of the first book you see start coming together so I'm really excited to see how that translates into the sequel. The next one comes out in July and that is Mother of All which is the third and final book in the Women's War trilogy. I read the first book absolutely loved it I'm reading the second book now and I'm super excited to see how this series is going to end. This is a book series set in a very dark patriarchal medieval inspired world where women can't use magic. They are basically possessions and there's this big uprising of women trying to get their own autonomy, their own place of living, their own 
you know, ruling system. It's a really cool, cool story that I really think more people should be reading. And the final book that comes out that I am super excited about for 2021 is Untethered, which is the sequel to Shield It. So this comes out in July and I'm really excited about it. I enjoyed Shield It. It was a fun YA fantasy that kind of subverted tropes, but it was pretty straightforward. And in this book, it takes off right after the events of the first one, but I believe we are actually following the brother to our protagonist from the first book. So that'll be really cool to see like a different perspective because we didn't really get much of him in the first book. So I'm kind of curious to see how he goes back to his kingdom and kind of fixes things after the first book went a little haywire. All right, so those are all of the books that I'm excited about so far that will be coming out in 2021, allegedly. Because as we all know, these dates can change. They can move around, change, get pushed back, so this is just kind of tentative dates that I have found in books that I am excited about. So let me know, are you excited about any of these? Are there other books that you're excited about that I didn't mention that I need to have on my radar? Let me know. All right, well, I am Jessie. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will talk to you later. Bye.